Thank you so much for logging on to WPTZ.com. I'm Vanessa Bashanya with some of your local headlines this morning. Plattsburgh City Council passed a proposal to welcome a medical marijuana business to the Lake City. All city council members in attendance voted unanimously for the proposal. The resolution paves the way for a medicinal marijuana business to apply for one of the five licenses that the state will give out. Now, some of the concerns discussed before the vote included potential revenue for the local economy and security logistics. Supporters hope the vote will help make a group of local entrepreneurs strong contenders for a license to grow and dispense the drug. Well, police have released an update on a fatal head-on crash that killed two in Colchester last November. Police say the driver, 27-year-old Justin Sterling, had a high level of THC, a chemical found in marijuana, in his blood. They also say he was driving too fast for wet conditions. Now, both he and his passenger, 28-year-old Alexander Melkumo, were killed when they crossed the center line on Route 15 and hit an oncoming garbage truck. They were not wearing seatbelts. Well, Plattsburgh police arrest two women in a rash of burglaries. 28-year-old Mallory Carlack and 34-year-old Randy Cheney face numerous charges. Police say the pair broke into several businesses inside the office building at 43 Durkee Street Thursday. They are accused of stealing electronics, artwork, and supplies. Police say most of the items were found in Carlack's car and her apartment. Well, the debate over vaccinations in Vermont progresses. Lawmakers right now are revisiting a state rule on vaccine exemptions. Lawmakers are working to get rid of the personal beliefs rule, known as the philosophical exemption. That's when parents opt out of required vaccines for school-age kids based on personal beliefs. Well, state health department numbers show nearly 3,500 Vermont kindergartners through 12th graders were exempted from immunizations last school year based on this rule. Now, in a statement, Governor Peter Shumlin says he believes there is no excuse to forego vaccinations. However, he thinks we need to be very careful about passing laws that put the state in the position of making decisions for children without parental consent. The Burlington City School District's proposed $68 million budget goes to voters on town meeting day. Five of the Burlington School Board Commissioners who originally voted against the budget for 2016 are now speaking in favor. The board says it's done the best it can to whittle down the spending plan in a way that will both serve the students and dig the school district out of a more than $1 million deficit. Part of this proposed budget, however, calls for a number of layoffs. Thanks again for logging on to WPTZ News Channel 5. We'll see you back at 5 p.m. on air. WPTZ News Channel 5. Have a good day.